This video is brought to you by patreon.com backslash sip the tally. Join the Patreon for exclusive vids, early release vids, on screen shout outs, access to members only giveaways, and added monthly tally points. Hop on over to patreon.com backslash sip to tally to see which one of the four tiers fits for you. Now let's get started. Welcome back to Sip the Tally Films. I'm your host, Coach Evans. And today we're going to take a look at an article that kind of got my attention because I've been one of the detractors of how this offseason went. And it's an article from A to Z Sports. And it's entitled, John Harbaugh responds to the notion that the Ravens took a step back with how the last couple of months went. And it's really an article about how the offseason has went with us losing a bunch of free agents. And some of those free agents, they, they call by name and then the additions and whatnot. And it really comes from, I think, the Liars' luncheon with, you know, since the way the Liars' luncheon has went in the past, I really had no interest in watching it, so I didn't watch it in full. And I think some of the quotes from this article came from the Liars' luncheon. So we'll just go through it and kind of break down the article, and I'll give you my thoughts as we go through it. And uh, you put your thoughts in the comment section about how you feel about it, uh, if you agree with some of the things I say. Uh, if you disagree, put that in the comment section also. Or if you agree with what the, the Ravens have been doing in the front office-wise, you know, this offseason, it it seems like a lot. We did lose a lot. Um, a lot of free agency, a lot in free agency, a lot of quality guys. Um, 25-ish or so guys, that's a lot. And I see some of the guys that we lost that really didn't contribute or starting to find jobs. That those guys don't really count. Like Rocky Sin recently found a job. Who cares? He he wasn't contributing anyway. He was a, he was best served doing what I'm doing, sitting in this chair right now. So guys like that are in that number, but we don't give a flying flip about those guys. So let's kind of get into the article, and we'll I'll put it on the screen, and we can talk about it. The Baltimore Ravens have had an interesting off season that has been quiet at others. The Ravens have lost some players and signed some players just like every other team in the NFL. Perhaps their biggest move was signing defensive tackle, Justin Matabike, to one of the top defensive tackle deals on the mark. On Tuesday, which when that's when the Liars' luncheon was, head coach John Harbaugh spoke to the notion that the team hasn't had a very good offseason or that they even took a step back, which I think they did. My, thing is, my issue has been offensive line. We're going in the draft in two weeks. We got three holes to fill on the offensive lineman. I know they brought some guys in, and they're depending on some younger guys. And again, the younger guys may pan out. They might. Voorhees is a name that a lot of people bring up, and they say he's a stud. I don't understand how you can say a guy's a stud. Like, the outside people can say he's a stud because we haven't been privy to practice. The Costa, Harbaugh, people that have, been, that have seen him, they might can say that. But us outsiders... Can't say that because we haven't seen him in practice. We haven't seen him play in doggone two years. And this is coming after an injury. But still, the offensive line is a huge concern to, of mine, and that's why I think we've had an issue this offseason. He also went on to say, every year is the same questions. It's kind of a rolling type of thing. Harbaugh explained, some, young, some years you're going to lose more free agents and you're going to pick up more comp compensatory picks. Then two years from now, you're going to have more picks in the draft. Then you're going to get younger, and you're going to have younger players who cost less. But you're going to have to pay the guys that turn out to be great players that you want to keep, and you want to keep as many as you can. And I think they mentioned Matty BK and Lamar in the next paragraph. They did. They mentioned Matty BK and Lamar as far as paying guys that you want to keep. And obviously you want to keep Lamar because having franchise quarterbacks, if you don't have one, you're probably not in the mix. San Francisco being the only exception, and it's turning out that Brock Purdy is probably going to be a franchise quarterback. He's trending in that, that direction to be a franchise quarterback. But the article goes on to say, uh, talk about players we lost in free agency, and they go to the list. Pat Queen going to the Steelers. Uh, Javon Clowney recently signing with the Panthers. Geno Stone with the Bengals. Gus Edwards with the Chargers. Uh, traded Morgan Moses to the Jets. Tyus Bowser we cut. Order Bell can be released. Now, players that we did sign. The big signing has been Derrick Henry. Uh, that's going to help out the backfield. 
Is it going to help out in the run game? We got to see what we're going to do with this O-line. But definitely having Derrick Henry back there with Lamar. And I'll even say, depending on what we do with the O-line, Derrick Henry, Lamar, and Pat Ricard at the same time. I mean, you're going to get some power football. And, and that's going to enhance your play-action game. So I hope Todd has that that thought process or that part of the playbook, you know, in mind because you put Derrick Henry back there with Pat Ricard, you get some one-on-ones out there with uh, your receivers, and if they can win their one-on-ones, you get some deep shots. So just a thought process. I uh, re-signed Calvin. I know recently Malik Harrison re-signed, brought back Chris Board, signed uh, Kadar Hol Holman as a DB. I think that signing is because we can't keep our young guys healthy. And I say we. Ravens, I don't know if it's the training or they just have bad luck or what, but Pepe and Jalen Norman Davis, guys that we drafted to kind of build up and fill those roles to be those young DBs, they just can't stay on the field. Uh, Resigned Brent Irvin, brought Josh Johnson back. As y'all know, um, Snoop's gone. Uh, Ardarius Washington came back, and Arthur Millette came back. And Arthur Millette played, I'm going to say a pivotal role, but he was a great puzzle piece into the defense last year. And I think he'll be a vet that can kind of help uh, Jalen Norman Davis and Pepe if they're healthy this year. And they those two guys may end up playing more than Arthur Millette, but I think his voice and his experience will be one to help them, you know, pick up some of the slack where the, some of the things he did last year. All right. The article goes on to say, Harbaugh explained that the team is going to try to compete for the big picture each and every season. Sometimes it may look different, but the goal remains the same. And that's Super Bowl. That's what the article is mentioning right there, the Super Bowl. And I'm going to keep taking it back, and y'all probably going to get tired of hearing me talk about offensive line. If you don't have the offensive line, you ain't got nothing. Or you don't have anything, since I want to use proper English right now. But until we get that figured out, and again, it may be figured out with them young guys, but I don't know. And, I'm, you know, since I'm speaking on offensive line, I think Ryan is going Ryan is gonna to be okay. Left guard, I think, is where the, the main hole is. Uh, center, Linda Baum's good. I think I think Ben Cleveland's going to be the starting right guard. And then as of right now, I would say McCarr is the right tackle. With Falele in competition right there. But that, that left guard, even though they brought in the Jones kid from, from Houston, I don't know if he's going to feel that. Because you got Jones, you got Salah, and you got uh, Voorhees competing for that spot. So... We'll see, man. We'll see. We just guess we got to let time go through. We got the draft in two weeks. Let that come out and and see what happens with, you know, that competition or whatnot. But left guard last year, there wasn't no competition. They put Simpson and they put Salah there. Simpson won that job easily, and Simpson went on to actually get another contract out of it with the Jets this offseason. All right. The article goes on to finish and it says, uh, with the offseason, the Ravens have had, uh, Harbaugh thinks they'll be very good once again next year. Baltimore made it to the AFC Championship game a few months ago, and that's something they want to build off of. I think every team wants to build off of success from the season before or to reinvent themselves if they had failure the year before. And we had success going to the AFC Championship game. And where we failed in the AFC Championship game was offensively. I don't think we did enough offensively to build on that yet. I think we went backwards offensively. That's why I kind of disagree with uh, this article. And 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 what is John supposed to say? He's not supposed to say anything negative. You know, he's supposed to to continue to be positive. And even if like, and I'm sure he believes what he said wholeheartedly. I'm not saying he's faking the funk, but he's he's not supposed to come out and say anything negative about his place of business. You know, I don't work there, so I can kind of shoot it to you straight how I feel like I see it. So I just I think you want to build on your your success from the season before, and offensively we hadn't done that. Now again the draft's still there, and I think there may be a player or two available after the June first cuts. We'll see, but right at this point, as of April twelfth, twenty twenty four, I don't think we've had a very good offseason other than signing Derrick Henry. Other than signing Derrick Henry. So I'm not going to completely disregard signing Derrick Henry and how impactful that's going to be. But if you don't have guys up there that can block for him to let him get started, it's not going to matter. The article finishes with the last paragraph saying that's what we're about. Uh, that's what football is. It's not just a math equation. It's more than that. 
It's what ma that's what makes it so exciting and so interesting. And we're going to have a heck of a team next year. You just wait and watch. You wait and see what we do. Which is, that's how we end the quote. And that's the quote that a lot of uh, publications ran with right there. And I'll kind of end it right here is, I hope so. That's all I say is, I hope so. I'm excited to see, you know, what happens in, over these next, well, not over these next two weeks, in the draft and stuff after that. But um, I think the offseason hasn't been good to us yet. Keyword being yet. Because it can get better with this draft. EDC can hit some home runs in this draft right here because there's some good old linemen. There's enough receivers to get some later on. Uh, some decent running backs if you want to get a younger guy to kind of put in the mix. Um, you want to throw another safety and some corners in there too. It's, it's, it's interesting. Now, this draft, this is, draft is kind of loaded because these are some of the kids that had the opportunity to stay an extra year if they wanted to because of COVID. So this draft is extra, extra loaded with some older guys that Got an extra season because of COVID in 2020, I think. So, and we got nine picks so far. I don't think we're going to trade any of them. I think we're going to use all nine of them to try to hit on as many, you know, as many of those picks as possible. The more chances you got to roll the dice, the more chances you got to hit. This is all I got for you today. This is Coach Evan signing out. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. If you want to support the channel, there are multiple ways to do that. The links to do that are in the description. Also, you can go to patreon.com backslash sift the tally. Join any one of those four tiers to show your support there too also. And I'll see y'all soon, man. Peace and love.